Welcome back to SnowRunner, and if you thought the pre-order version of the Con 39 was crazy, you're gonna think this one is even, even more ridiculous. Now, there's two versions. There's one without rear steer, and there's one with rear steer, and I'm gonna leave a link in the description box down below to the mod.io page where you guys can check this thing out. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it and see what this thing is actually like. So, I'm gonna spawn in both versions, and let's see... We got the normal Con 39 Elite, and now the rear steer Con 39 Elite. So, with both of these versions out on the map, we're going to go ahead and swap over to them and see what you can actually do. Now, obviously, this thing is gigantic, but it's... Right now, it's pretty normal looking. So, I'm going to actually take it over to the garage and see what all we can do to it. Now, whoa, there we go. All right, so what we're looking at right now is obviously a fairly normal COD 39. Now, we're going to swap over. Oh, my God, the engine list. Oh, 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 oh. Ah! oh, my God. Holy smokes. We have so many engines. Oh, my God. HET 8V 6.2, 6.2T. Holy smokes. 5.2 custom. Let's do the 6.2T, and the gearbox, uh, let's see, mm, mm, I don't know, uh, maybe SnowRunner gearbox, we'll see what that does, now, we've got lowered, and then stock, and then raised, raised, and raised, uh, it goes up, <laughs> it goes up quite a bit, uh, let's go for the mega lift, because we might as well, Although I will say, that drive shaft angle is probably going to destroy some U-joints. Yeah, those U-joints are not going to be very happy. Now, right now we have 44s. We could go down to a 31. Um, you want to talk about skipping leg day? I think you skipped it, bud. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, this thing can... Basically, they give you every single tire option. Like, What is this? Well, it's like the Whistling Diesel special right here. Let's see, uh, 33s, 35s, that you're telling me that that's a 35, Jesus, now we're in the 37s, 39s, 41s, 43s, 45s, 47s, now we're getting to big more tires, 49s, 51s, we could do the 31 inch Hummer H2 tires, oh my god, you have just about a choice of whatever the heck you want. Let's see, 37-inch Hummer H2 tires, which are excellent all round. I wonder if they have, like, a... Yo, 39-inch H2 tires. You could build a monster out of this. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They're getting a little, uh... They're getting a little wacky now. These are 51-inch TRO1s. These are, like... We can go back to, like... You could do, like, a 31-inch mud tire. This is the wackiest thing. But I'll tell you, there might actually be a place for tiny little mud tires like that. I mean, depending on what you wanted to do. 35 inch, oh my god. Yep, yep. They've basically taken every giant mud tire and given it to you in whatever size you want. Which, I don't know if I'd use the little, like the small little sizes, but I would never argue with it. I would never argue against it. Like, these are the 39 inch Tega tires. And I'm still, like, there's so much more to go. 43s, 44s, and now 45s, which 45 is such an odd size for a tire. 47, 49, 51s, oh my god. Dude. And you could do chained 51s, I'm sure, if you really... <gasps> oh my god. 51 inch TMHS1. Yes! Let me just go through the rest and make sure there's nothing too crazy. Um, you can do chained tires, like chained 51s, which I may test later, but I'm not sure about that right now. Let's see. Autonomous Scout. Spare wi- M. K. <laughs> K. That's a- that's a thing, apparently. Don't need the roof rack. And we're so high up that we don't really need the snorkel, but I'm going to do it anyway because it's there. And then customization, we'll go back one more time. We might as well, 
Oh, that actually looks kind of cool. And rear bumper, eh, eh, stock, tow loops, might as well. And let's see, fog lights, tow loops, hunter. Oh, I really like that, actually. That's that's pretty sick. Tega wheels, which there's not really anything else that could go with those tires. So we're going to have to make at least one of them pink, but it's probably not going to be this one. It's probably going to be the rear steer one. It, I mean, it's going to be hilarious in pink regardless, but I feel like we'll make this one, we'll make this one something different. Like, we'll make this one orange. Not that that's, like, you know, weird or out there or anything, but now let's test it out. <laughs> I, I don't know how this, oh, God. It's quick. It's quicker than you might think it would be, uh, but the turning circle is so bad. The turning circle is, like, moon size. How's this for a comparison? Jesus. That's, that's ridiculous for a comparison is what that is. Hi. Well, that's not really good for much of anything. Ah, the diff lock and the all-wheel drive are always on. And that's another reason why the turning circle is that of a moon. I'm going to go across the bridge and see what kind of trouble we can get into over at the hill climbs. Because I know we'll be getting into trouble of some kind with this thing. I just don't know what kind. Turn! Ow! <laughs> it didn't even cause it any damage. It just bounced. It might as well be able to do a wheelie. As a matter of fact, I think I might be able to make it do a wheelie. Let's see. And... Stop. Go. Kick. Oh, well... Tried to kick the clutch. It didn't really do much. It didn't really help. It, just, it definitely didn't help as much as I thought it was going to. Can you climb this hill? Or are you just too top-heavy to be able to climb it? I. It might be. Nope. Makes it in a single swoop. Now, granted, this setup is a little bit better suited to mud than it is to rock crawling. But I'm not mad about it. It goes... It definitely goes. The rear steer one is going to be wacky out here. Uh-oh. Whoa. Whoa. I'm in, a, I'm in a situation. Yep. Oh, God. I'm in a situation. Oh, I'm in a big situation now. Because I have nowhere to go. I have nowhere to... Well, actually, I'm okay. Ish. Probably not, but... <laughs> Say I'm okay. If you could, like, not, that would be great. Easy. You know, if we had rear steer, we wouldn't really have to worry about this situation. Which is why... <laughs> which is why... Oh, yeah. Which is why it's time for the rear steer one. This is going to be very different. This is going to be such an odd experience. Now, I will say, the first order of business with the rear steer one is to paint it pink so I don't forget. And it's getting the... Hmm. I'm going to give this one the Azov AM4V160. I mean, it puts it up to S+. Now, I'm sure that it might... It, I don't feel like it's quite as powerful, but this one I'm going to give it... This one is going to be weird. I'm going to give it a freeway gearbox and see what happens with that. Mega lift. And, oh God. I'm going to give it 51s, but a different type of 51. I'm just not sure which 51 to give it. And I think it's probably best that I, oh, 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 dude. Yes. Yes. I've never even, like, used these things. In this size, anyway. Autonomous Scout, just in case we flip over. Devlock Engageable. Snorkel, boom. And now... I want to give it some kind of fender. Some kind of rear bumper. And actually, this one is going to get the full Hunter set up. Well, Hunter in the rear and then tow loops in the front. Just to be different from the other one. Now, let's see what this one's like. 
It's a little odd looking, but the turning circle is improved, that's for sure. Although, I'd be kind of up. Oh my god, that's top heavy. Dude, that's top heavy as all get out. That's, that's, mm, that's a little sketchy. Oh, yeah, this one picks up a bit of damage. Where are you going? Where are you going? The rear steer makes it a little bit floppy. If you try to turn at high speed, it's... Yeah. Ooh, it's not going to be a fan of this. I can already tell you it's not going to be a fan of this, especially with this highway gearbox. Probably not the best choice for it, but I just wanted to see what it would do. Like, I was very... I, I've never used the highway gearbox before, and I was really curious to see if it would be, like... A hit, like, not necessarily if it would be a hindrance to it, but how much of a hindrance it would be. And it's kind of a hindrance. It's not that bad, but it, it is kind of a hindrance. Let's see how you do up the hill. Oh, that's not bad. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. There's its... Yeah, there's its... Its brother. There's its brother. Oh, God. Let's see if you can stay upright. No! Yes! I'll allow it. I will allow it. Let's also see... Let's also see how it does in the mud. Because how it does in the mud is going to be a big determining factor on whether or not this thing is a good idea. It's rolling! For high range, it's rolling. First, second. Oh, back to first again. Let's throw it in low. That's not too bad. That's actually pretty good. I've got to admit, that's actually pretty good. Let's head for the deep one and see what it's like there. Because the deep one... The deep one is gonna be a little sketchy. The deep one is gonna be one of those ones that's like, Okay, yeah, this is about to be bad. Oh, God. It's not terrible. I mean, it's going forward. It We have forward motion, which is a massive, massive advantage to us. Massive, massive advantage to us. And it's worth noting that a lot of the vehicles you take out here, especially, like, if they're stock, they can't even make it. They can't even make it through this mud hole. But, the, but this thing, no issues. And it maintains its pace, it maintains its maneuverability. I think it's actually a really good mod. And I mean, you could use it in single player if you really wanted to. I mean, would it throw off the balance of the game? Sure it would. It would throw off the balance of the game like nobody's business. But if that's the type of mod that you're interested in, I would definitely recommend checking it out. So if y'all enjoyed this video, make sure to, to hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. And if you're new around here and would like to stay up to date with mods, let's plays, and everything else related to SnowRunner, make sure you click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell, and I'll see y'all next time.